Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Ayush and now in this video we are going to cover the most important topic of our this Linux series that is the user creation. Okay. So basically in this video we are going to cover the how you can create users, what are the files affected by you by creating that particular user and how you can create, what are the root users, sudo command and we are going to cover many things in this particular video. Okay. So before moving forward, uh, I just want to discuss about uh, a, basi a, bas a very basic thing that is what are the users, okay. I hope you, you like, uh, you are aware of it, like if you are using this PC then you are the user. If uh, someone else is PC using this particular uh, PC and if he has or she has an account in this PC then he, she or he is the user. So basically what are the users? Users are nothing but you can say uh, a particular person or particular entity what uh, he can just uh, like change the files and directories or he can do whatever he want uh, okay so moving forward in this video uh, i will uh, like start with the very basic thing like uh, categories or types of users in our linux system okay so i hope this terminal is visible to you okay i will just uh, write uh, right now i will just write things okay so the hash is basically just for comment okay so if whatever i will write it will like not uh, execute as a command okay so there are two types of user in our this linux uh, operating system that is one is root user or you can say administrative user and other one is the normal user okay so what are the root users so if you are following this series then i don't think you are aware of the root user so but now we will cover it what is this so root user is basically that user who has access of the all the files and system like he he is just like administrator he can do anything he wants okay he has access of everything but what a normal user a normal user nothing but like who doesn't have all the access okay so uh, if you take a like real life uh, example suppose you are a administrator of all this windows pc or linux pc anything okay and there is uh, someone else who who has also access of this PC, but he is a normal user. So uh, I will just tell you like, uh, if you want to change the password of your of your account, you can change it, okay. But if you want to change the password or anything uh, files uh, of that other user, then you can access it. But that user cannot access the file of this particular what which to use a root user or administrative or administrator okay so basically the difference between uh, in this is like normal user can't access the files of uh, administrative user but in Linux we can do it using the one of the functionality that is a sudo command okay I will tell you uh, what are the sudo commands what is this how it works okay so this is all about the basics of uh, difference between the root user and the normal user I hope you got it now moving forward uh, now uh, i will tell you about the sudo command what is this okay but before it i will try to like uh, cover one thing also the root user i will first set up the root user then i will tell you about the sudo command what are the root users like i just discussed like he has access to all the permission but by default in this ubuntu always root user uh, doesn't work because it is disabled okay so to enable it, uh, what you can do, you can just simply change the password because you know the root user is created. You will just change the password. Okay. So I will need sudo also because I don't, I think it requires permission. So the this passwd is a command to change the user or uh, to change the password of any user. So I am changing the root. Here it is asking for my password and here I will try to add password of this root user okay so here we have successfully changed the password of this root user so now to log in as a root user what you can do you can change the switch user okay su root means uh, su stands for switch user and root is just a username of that particular user and here I will type the password and here you can see the host name has been changed from Ayush to the root. I will do ls here so that I have all the files I can see here. If I will go to go back, I will do ls here. You can see test user has been created by me. Okay. So that's all about it. Like root user. 
now uh, what I will do extract from this root user okay so we have created the root user and we have successfully set up the root user now moving forward the I was going to tell you about the sudo command what is this sudo sudo what is the sudo command like there is a boom of sudo like if uh, anything doesn't work then you will just apply sudo and that thing will work okay so how it works basically that sudo command is nothing but uh, like um, you can say uh, how should I explain uh, let me explain it by you an example suppose uh, you have a file okay file.txt uh, you don't have access to it okay but if you want to access to it you can use the sudo command to access it okay I'm just uh, giving you an example so how it works basically uh, sudo command when you use it it like uh, it will work on behalf of the which user the root user okay the root user because root user has access to all the files okay so what you will do you will try to access that file on behalf of root user okay I hope you got it okay so but now there is a question like uh, then every user like uh, suppose I am this Ayush user I can access suppose I create some another user I used to then he can also access this uh, particular administrative file but no the <laughs> that's not a thing for this to work what you will need to do you will need to this I used to into a sudoers file that is some kind of file that is sudoers I think that that is the name I will google it okay not remember I think this is the file sudoers file it is there okay so in this file that particular user should be added or should be present to run sudo command okay so you will see all these things uh, after when you will create a user and all these things you will see it everything okay so don't worry about it so I have you got it what is the sudo command and all these things now moving on to the main topic of our this video is the user creation okay so before starting uh, there are some concepts which you should learn okay so I have already written it on this notion okay so the concept which you should learn uh, the first and basic thing is UID what is the UID UID is nothing but a user identification number you can say or user identifier so in Linux every user has their own unique ID okay so I will tell you my unique ID so if you will type ID and Ayush here you can see my UID is 1000 and GID is 1000 this is the group ID and groups and all these things okay so uh, now you have to focus only on this this part UID so now my UID is what 1000 okay if I want to change look at the root ID what are the what is the UID of the root so this is only 0 okay so that's thing I have written here like the ranges of UID is from 1 to 500 only for uh... so here for system users UID ranges from 1 to 500 and for the other users it starts from 1000 as in the Ubuntu and Fedora it starts from 1000 but 0 0 is reserved for which user root user or administrative user it is just the root is just the username okay so this is the concept of the UID okay so now what I will I'm going to tell you like UID I you got it the ID is 0 for the root user and 1000 for the Ayush okay this is the ID which is generated for whatever user you will create it will get added by one and one okay so now uh, the next concept is uh, the where the details of user is stored okay so there are some kind of files which are getting infected when you create a user the most uh, like uh, usual or you can say important file that is slash etc passwd is one of the file and other file is uh, slash uh, the etc shadow slash it is just a directory uh, it's just uh, their location where it exists okay so the passwd and shadow file are the two files which get affected and also there are some other files so those we will not cover right now so these are the two files uh, which getting affected okay so now if you will see the content of the 
slash etc pass wt okay so what you will see wow i don't think you will understand anything right now okay let me clear this screen but before that let me tell you about this what is the password file or passwd files okay so in this file basically uh, the information is stored about the user it means what information the uid okay the group id their uh, name okay and other information and also some other information like linux shell, login shell information are stored in this particular file okay so if i'll do cat slash etc let me increase the okay so the first entry is of which user the first entry is of the root user okay and the second x is just for the password like here uh, password doesn't uh, like uh, it uh, like it doesn't display here password it is password is stored in another file that is a shadow file okay in the hash format type okay and then this is the group id uh, this is uid group id their group user group uh, and uh, their home directory and the shell which they are using okay bin bash so there is the like uh, i break every part of that particular uh, like uh, thing like there are seven what uh, yeah seven separators or you can say seven concepts you can say okay in this particular file so here you can see a uh, mark mark is what username x is what password 1001 is what uid again 1001 is what zid again here is the additional information okay and this is the home directory and this is the login shell so what is the login shell but before understanding this you need to understand what is shell shell is nothing but which provides you an interface okay to work okay you can understand a login cell is uh, nothing but uh, like whenever you log in into the particular system then it starts working uh, like you will learn about shell and bash scripting or bash shell you will learn when we will start the bash scripting concept okay so there are also some other cells you can see uh, like uh, gnu c shell con shell jet shell okay so now what uh, uh, I am going to do I will create a one user okay but before that uh, yeah one more concept is remaining here like slash etc shared okay now uh, we will uh, come back on this point later on after creating user and also yeah here you can see uh, my the first user that it's Ayush and 1000 is their UID GID and this is group additional info okay so now what I have to do I will clear the screen and I will going to add uh, some users in this particular video or so I will use sudo command why sudo because user add command uh, like does not work directly you can try also if I will do user that it will give me the all the options but also if I will try to add user some kind of thing like uh, some um, you can say which user test 22 so here you can see permission denied why permission denied because you don't have access to run this user add command because only root can add user so now what we will do we are going to add user on behalf of the root account okay that's why we will use sudo now uh, now i think you got the main concept of this sudo sudo user add i will uh, write some good name let's take uh, mike no virat let's take virat okay and uh, sudo user add virat just uh, this is the username now i will hit enter and the user has been created now to look at the file whether user has been created or not what i will do i will open up another terminal okay and i will just read the password file and here you can see virat user has been created and we still have not saved the password okay and the uid has been given to that particular user 1002 
and another uh, group ID has been given to 1002 and this is the home we wrote has been created but uh, using user add command it does not reflect let's check whether it reflects or not if I do ls here you can see we uh, directory has not been created I will tell you everything how you can do it using user add command okay and the shell which are being used by this is bin sh okay so uh, like in this way you can simply like uh, add user in know in your system not to change the password or assign the password what you will need to do the password command you will use sudo password virat password uh, let's write same virat virat okay password updated successfully now the other file which come in role in this uh, user creation process that is shadow file in shadow file what happens like uh, all the passwords are stored in the hash format okay now uh, let's take a look at the shadow file so as you can see permission denied so what I can do I will just use sudo because now I will run this command as on behalf of the root user now it will ask you for the password just enter and here you can see virat okay so virat is there and this is the hash format of your password okay and uh, next here is the when password created or password chain expired and all such things now let me open up this to simplify this uh, yeah here you can see mark dollar six dollar this is the whole the like uh, hash format encrypted password you can say and this is the when last password was changed then again their minimum password age and then maximum password age again warning period inactivity expiration unused all these things is like in this shadow file you can get but we have not assigned any kind of those thing like expiry date all these things so that's why we are not able to say it so there are some uh, encrypted password you can say what are the format like dollar type dollar short dollar dollar hash is the format to store your password so if it is one then it is md5 it is two way it is blowface this is uh, two y uh, ek's blowface you can see all these things if dollar five and six and SHA two fifty six and five hundred twelve. Now for dollar y it is uh, yes script. So it is also uh, one of the method you can learn about it. And now uh, if you will uh, learn about the last password change uh, in this uh, what happens it uh, calculates from this date Jan one to ninety seventy. Okay, and for expiry it, <laughs> like it also like uh, calculate from that particular day. So I hope you got it the like what are the password file what are the shadow file if you want to take a screenshot you can take of this particular content so it will be helpful to understand you okay and for password you can this like you can take the screenshot of this particular part okay so now uh, what we have to do we have successfully created this particular user uh, now what we will do we are going to log in okay we are going to log in using that particular username and password so how you can do su and uh, username virat and the password which you have set virat and here we, you, you are in this particular user sh shell so here you can see who am I that is Virat if I will do ls so you don't have permission because uh, user are simply just add the user adds a user so you will need to perform some other actions also okay so I will exit to from this cell okay let me clear the screen here also and now what I'm going to do I will just uh, like use the other options which you can use with the user add command okay like there are multiple options which you can use okay so 
to create a home directory which option we use we use hyphen m option okay and uh, to create a like user with your own user id then we use hyphen u option okay and uh, to add some com comments we use hyphen c option okay uh, wait a minute hyphen c option so that's all and hyphen s option is also used to assign the login shell okay so uh, we can use this one by one or in a uh, single command also okay so uh, for your simplicity or really like uh, to make it simple i will use first one by one then i will like uh, add uh, everything in a single command now here i will i am creating hyphen m virat 2 okay so permission denied so i forgot to use sudo i will use sudo and again virat 2 has been created i will check the file shadow file here we have not used password uh, we have not set password yet uh, sorry not shadow I, I have to use password okay so as you can see virat 2 has been created with the user id 1003 and the home we write to let's check whether this home direct has been created or not i will do cd dot dot slash ls and here you can see we write to has been created okay nice and i will now i will try to create some other user using hyphen m also and also i will try to use hyphen u i will assign some other id like 1500 okay and also i will use hyphen c so okay so here this is virat 3 and hit enter oh, sorry uh, here i forgot to change the name of the user virat 3 so user has been created successfully again password so here you can see virat 3 x password we have not set yet 1500 is the user id and the group id this is the additional information which you wanted to give that is virat3 home virat3 and bin bin sh is there it should be bin bash to like reflect like this okay ayush and ayush virtual box so uh, now what i will do i will use hyphen s option let me increase this maximize it okay so hyphen c you have used and let's use hyphen s let me clear the screen first uh, what happened uh, wait a minute okay hyphen s slash pin bash okay What I will do, I will first copy. You can copy using Control Shift C. Yeah, now I will do Virat 4. Okay, so sudo user add hyphen m. What this it will do, it will just uh, like create a home directory hyphen u for assigning uh, the particular user ID. So 1500 we have already assigned. Let's assign like 1500. Oh, sorry. 1500. One, this is Virat four, hyphen is bin bash Virat four. Okay, we will hit enter, and user has been created. Let's check in this particular file. Cat slash etc slash, and here you can see Virat four fifteen hundred one. This is Virat four home. And let's check home has been created or not home directory so here you can see virat4 has been created now what we will do we will change the password of this particular uh, user that is virat4 so how you can do it using sudo command sudo password virat4 done now what you will do new password just enter anything which you want virat virat i am just uh, typing and uh, Password has been also added. Now what I will do, I will try to access the shadow file. So in shadow file, you can see the hash format. 
all these things okay so now what I will do I will just try to log in using the Virat 4 SU Virat 4 oh sorry and then again enter the password and uh, I, I think I have entered wrong password Virat 4 okay no 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 sorry it's password is only Virat okay okay let's again change the password why to okay caps lock is enabled no 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 again change the password I will need to use sudo I forgot every time to use sudo now I will try to switch user okay so now where are you in the Virat 4 home directory if you will do PWD you are in Virat 4 if you will do who am I you are in Virat 4 okay so congratulations you have successfully created one user and you have like you have all you have set the password of it you have created the home directory for it everything okay done so now what you can do Mm. Uh, what you can do now yeah so uh, you can see the multiple process we did uh, in this like first we created user using user add then we provided using hyphen f option to create home directory then for uh, shell we use hyphen s option for command we use hyphen c option and for uh, and what else we used for UID you used hyphen U option okay so these are the multiple option you are using the user add command so basically user add command is the low level utility which means like it is earlier used but now it's uh, there is also other utility that is add user it is a high level utility you can say okay so this is also useful because uh, sometimes in kind of automation thing you need it okay or uh, yeah but you should know this method also so now moving forward what I am going to do I am just uh, let me uh, like list all the so we are 234 has been greater 1501 okay so now what I'm going to do, I am going to add a user using the simple command that is uh, add user command. Okay. So how you can do it? sudo add user and the username which you want to give. I just want to give as a search in. Okay. What it is showing me, please enter a username matching the regular expression configured. Yes, I was okay. I think I'll need to write as a small case in yes. So here you can see you can't use capital letter. Okay. So here you can see adding user search in adding a new group search in here group is also added. I d I didn't talk about group in this video. I will talk about in the later video. Okay. And then you have to here only you have to enter the password like uh, search in and again you have to enter the password and here if you want to give full name you can give Sachin Tendulkar room number 123 work phone 789 456 123 oh sorry 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 123 456 7890 home number 0987654321 other zero nine eight seven six four five. If you if you didn't enter anything, it will be blank. Okay. Other is the information correct? Yes, obviously. Why? So now, user has been created. So this is a very simple command. Like in just one command, you can create. Uh, you can set the password. You can add if any extra information you want to add. Okay. So using this command, you can simply do those things. Okay. So if I will check the content of password, so here you can see search in 
1004 has been ID assigned to Sachin. Full name, their phone number, whatever it is, room number, home number, and the directory. Directory has been also created. Let's check ls. So here you can see Sachin. And now let's log in using Sachin. Now you are here and uh, if you will do ls, so there is nothing any file. So in this way also you can add users. Okay. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you have, yeah, if you have any queries, then please you can ask us in the comment section. Okay. So that's all for today and we will meet in the next video with uh, another concept. So that's all. So thank you. Thank you guys for watching this video and we'll meet in the next one. Thank you.